Welcome to the Cycling Matters Podcast, your weekly dose of local cycling news, culture, tips, product reviews, and discussions about our love for bike, bike, bike. <laughs> <laughs> the Cycling Matters Podcast is brought to you in cooperation with Ciclo. Hi, I'm Jan Belmonte. I'm King Fillard. I'm Karen Sison. And we are the Cycling Matters. We're here today to introduce to you our new podcast, the Cycling Matters Podcast. So, um, King, can you uh, give us, uh, how, how, how did we go, uh, let's talk to them about how we went about starting Cycling Matters. Well, Cycling Matters, or CM for short, actually, I recruit lang talaga ako eh. ah. Why don't you tell <laughs> us? Like, you know? okay. So, Cycling Matters started in... Um, June 2018 last year uh, and and before we actually before we invited you uh, and later on um, Karen it was it was an idea between Brian Heron and I um, but we were thinking of it separately um, uh, I actually personally started cycling as a bike commuter in June uh, in January 2017 yeah about a mountain bike because I was so annoyed with the traffic <laughs> <laughs> and then six yeah. months later, I would meet uh, my cycling team. Hello, Team Loyola. Uh, what? And then um, eventually, uh, I started riding a road bike, and from there, I just really never looked back. I started commuting almost daily to and from work to like meetings with clients, uh, business meetings, and whatnot. And yeah, that that, that kind of personal experience. Um, um, kind of led to like, parang driving a car or like being being too dependent on the cars, especially since our public transportation isn't that reliable. Yeah. Be, parang relying on those stopped making sense, and cycling was more straightforward. And we felt that we could share that kind of passion and understanding of 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 the sport and the mode of transport with other people. So yeah. Um. Wait, so my question, oh, yeah. when you mentioned, like, you were thinking about it separately, like, you were thinking about it without talking with um, Brian. Yeah. And oh. then we were talking about it, and whoa, I'm Great about minds that too. Great minds think alike. <laughs> Somewhat. Oh. Well, what happened, because I, um, since I come from a design background, back then I was already thinking about starting, like, an app. Um, but of course, that wasn't very um, feasible yet. So um, at some point, lang. I'm not sure which one of us brought it up with each with the other, but uh, the message, I think si Brian I mentioned he was like, John, we need to start something, and then I was like, okay, actually, you know what? I have a document, and then I gave him <laughs> an entire technical document about the app that I wanted to build. The prepared shai. Oh, cause like I was really trying to, I know, parang prepare the thoughts until someone is available to jump in with me, and then yon, I showed it to Brian, and he was like. Okay, this is good, but we don't have the money to start an app. And first of all, we don't really have, we're not really sure about the number of cyclists there are to actually make an app um, make sense. So we just thought now we could start um, the Cycling Matters Advocacy, start a Facebook page and a website. And yeah, um, that was more Brian's idea, pushing information. Since Cy- uh, see Brian had has like, what, 10, 15 years of biking experience yeah like <laughs> as a, a lot oh, <laughs> as a like, like personally like if i have a question about cycling i always go to brian because yeah. i know he knows so much right um brian is one of the partners of uh, cycling matters uh, right now he's in australia but soon enough we'll be introducing him hopefully in yes. the podcast yeah so yeah um a very exciting time um and after we started talking um, around June 2018, uh, after a few months, come October 2018, we started the website. And that's when you came in, um, as well as Hide van der Waal and Joy Fillard. Um, and can you tell us more, King, about why we started the podcast? Oh, bakit nga ba? Well, um, why start a podcast? Well, for me, kasi parang it's a it's a new platform. Na where you get to talk about uh, different topics uh, about cycling. And it's also a different platform na when you discuss, um, parang it's a safe space in a way that you can just talk about anything. Um, wala yung mga toxic comment section. Uh, well, wala pa. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it stays that way. That's nice in the comment section. <laughs> yeah, but it's more like, you know, you just talk about it. Kwentuhan lang siya. 
at saka parang okay siya sa sa Pinoy eh, ni Pinoy mm. cyclists. Na parang you know, tambay ka lang, hang out and just talk about anything. Mm. The podcast is also nice, no? Um not everyone has access to our website, of course. Yeah. The other social media accounts that we have and I think it's be, it's a way for us to be able to share knowledge from people within our community. No? Yeah. Um and we also want to make cycling siguro more accessible to people who are commuting. Mm-hmm. And baba, what are your activities? Yeah, then? and like I was thinking that for people na kino consider mag cycling mm-hmm. or mag bike commute, um, people in the car or like especially in the car because I yeah. feel like they're going to be stuck in traffic <laughs> exactly. and they'll be like, oh my gosh, I do not want to deal with this anymore. So here's an alternative. So yeah, and then like <laughs> you just listen to th- these people na parang you know nag bike commute and like but mbapa eh. and that's what's the movement is about you know cycling matters it's the advocacy you know mm, what's very exciting about the cycling community right now is that in the past two years since i started bike commuting i've seen so many people really switch to uh, bike commuting and cycling as a sport in general um regardless of gender or or social class like it's really yeah, yeah. A, a very accessible mode of transport yeah well, um when you guys uh, recruited me na parang yung line was like you know the time is now the time is ripe you know and dami nang nag nagba-bike and dami nang nag-explore ng mga possibilities ng cycling and then may may unique um culture sa Filipinos uh, Filipino cycling community na it's like it's just there now we want to promote celebrate we just want to talk about it so yeah, so kaya enjoying cycling matters, and now kaya nito yung podcast. Like it's an avenue for us to talk about it, also. So yeah, to those who are already cyclists or bike commuters, I hope you can join in on the discussion. Um, or if you if you have people who you can suggest to come in as guests, that would be great. Um, but also for people who are exploring cycling as a sport, a leisure activity, or a way to get around Metro Manila or anywhere in the Philippines, actually, um, I hope we can learn. A thing or two about from our podcasts. Um, so, Ken, what can they expect from uh, the podcast? So, um, so things you can expect are regular discussions on pressing issues, um, like related to cycling, like for example, you know, bike lanes being built or and other things. Um, controversial topics about cycling, because I'm pretty sure I know there are a lot, <laughs> and you know, just anything like related to c- cycling in the Philippines, because. I, I, I don't think there's no other podcast that talks about I don't it. Think right? so, yeah, yeah. I think we're the first. Mm-hmm. Yes. And we're also going to invite some mm. interesting guests over um within the cycling community, like um like cycling apparel, um or urban planners, yes. uh, transport planners and even athletes, no? Sana nga pati like government officials, yeah. you know. Hello everyone. Hi. Yes, government officials. Uh, mayor. Yes. <laughs> if you have Please. stuff to say, <laughs> you have a podcast. Oh. Yeah, and you guys, the listeners, have a chance to join in on the conversation via the comment section. But please, let's be nice to each other because, <laughs> you know, we don't we usually don't like the comment section, but we want to make it a, you know, a conducive environment. A safe, uh, yeah. a safe place. If anything, as space. cyclists know, one thing we're proud of as cyclists, or at least I'm proud of, when you're on the road is when you see one cyclist or another cyclist just wave and say hi actually i super Aww. love that although when i was starting i couldn't say hi to them because i couldn't raise my hand because <laughs> i was like i need to balance so, but then eventually like i was super happy when i started like like removing like one hand from my handlebar and i was able to like say hi although i think at the time i was a bit too enthusiastic that sometimes they would look at me weirdly like yeah. like they'd be like okay <laughs> but I, it's just it's just really nice, like, you know, knowing that like there are other cyclists out there, and it's not it's not like well, like how do I say this? Because like when you're in a car, you, like you're just by yourself against every other motorist on the road. But at least like among the cycling community, it's a very welcoming community. Even though you don't know who that person is on the road, you know that you have a shared passion. Oh, well. Yeah, <laughs> you have a shared experience. You have a shared, you know something yeah random conversations with yeah. security yeah, guards actually. other athletes on the road and tak-tak or you know what's yeah. funny like sometimes 
nakalimut ako na wala akong bike. Yun nga. Yeah. Oh my god, same. Oh my god. Kakaway ako sa cyclist parang sila parang why? You <laughs> awkward when you're driving. <laughs> okay, oh me my. as a pedestrian. Okay, so you know like how bad our pedestrian infrastructure is in Metro Manila. So sometimes like when I'm walking on the sidewalk and then there's a like a motorcycle going at me and I have to stop myself from saying bike, bike. <laughs> As in, I'm like, I'm not on the bike. <laughs> so. so yeah, very exciting time. We'll have a new podcast and more videos, of course. Um, hopefully, we can have this very week, every week. This podcast is available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You release new episodes every Monday. Just search Cycling Matters in your favorite podcast platform. Um, put on some earphones and enjoy the discussion. Of course, subscribe. Whichever platform you choose, may that be Spotify or Apple podcast please subscribe to our podcast to get regular updates on our new episodes you can catch more of Cycling Matters on Facebook Twitter YouTube and Instagram or on our website at cyclingmatters.ph that's all for today goodbye ride safe Philippines